Let's get a cobra because they make such great companions. <laughs> Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? The lack of common sense in this fucking country. Follow me. And if you don't agree, who cares? And if you're offended, fuck off. In the news this week, in Raleigh, North Carolina, some fucking toothless moron apparently owned a Cobra. Yes. A cobra. You know, the ridiculously deadly exotic snake that has no business being in a neighborhood in Raleigh, North Carolina. They had it as a pet. Some fucking hillbilly had a cobra as a pet. God forbid they had a dog or a cat. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's get a cobra because they make such great companions. Anyway, surprise, surprise, surprise. Goma Pyle's pet cobra got loose. And they can't find it for days now. So this fucking selfish dope's poor neighbors have to live with a fucking cobra roaming their neighborhood. You want to end this issue once and for all? It's simple. Anyone who owns an exotic pet that's illegal, tigers, lions, cobras, whatever, is now immediately found guilty of attempted murder. That's right. That's how you end this insanity. If someone, if somehow it becomes known that you have a deadly illegal pet in your home, you are now hauled into jail and immediately found guilty of attempted murder. And if you want a lion or a tiger or a snake or whatever the fuck it is you own illegally and it kills someone, you're now immediately found guilty of actual murder. It's that simple. No one should have to worry about their dog or their cat being killed and eaten by a fucking cobra. And no parent should worry that their child or infant will be killed by a cobra playing in their own yard. Or even have to worry that their spouse or, or they will be killed while gardening. No one should ever have to worry about being killed by a cobra or a lion while gardening unless your garden is where lions and tigers and fucking cobras or whatever it is naturally live. There's your common sense solution for problem one. Now, here's your common sense solution for problem two. This thing in Surfside, Florida, my God, where those poor people, may God rest their souls, probably died in, in the building collapse. Here's the problem for me. Condo boards. A condo board in any city and in any building, it's just a bunch of dopes who also own condos in the building and want to pretend they are important and running a country or a big company or whatever. They aren't experts. They just live there. They aren't interested in spending any more money than the other people who own condos in the building. With me so far? Okay. So, now it's coming out that the serious issues with that building and the pool and the underground parking garage were pretty well known a few years ago. So here's the common sense solution so that something this horrible never happens again. Every single condo board in the country must show all inspection reports from contractors to either city construction personnel and or a private expert contractor who has been approved by the city at least once a year. This way, it's not up to the condo board to decide if the problems are serious and need immediate attention. It's up to the city and expert private inspectors to review and decide what to do. And if they don't, then they are held liable, just like anybody in the real world who carries liability insurance if they fuck up in their jobs. Make it a law. Now, sadly, if this rule was in place for all condo boards, this building in Surfside would have most likely been repaired a few years ago with inspections happening at least every year. <sighs> Common sense, people. It's what we're missing today. What's the downside of stopping people from owning cobras? There is none, but we stop innocent neighborhoods from being terrorized by wild killer snakes and innocent people from being killed by exotic animals illegally owned by morons. What's the downside of all condo boards having to have private inspectors and or city experts on the condo board for at least annual reviews on site? None, except people won't die and property won't collapse because the people in charge 
were cheap, narrow-minded, short-sighted nitwits. The lack of common sense in this country, that's what ticks me off.